My name is Bill and I work with Walt Kirst of Kirst Convert. And uh, when uh, customers choose uh, to take one of our options and send their firearm in for us to do the installation, I'm the guy that, that gets to do the work. That also lends me to talking to a lot of great people across the country. And uh, on occasion, a few have uh, expressed uh, or shared with me that they've never taken their pistol apart. I know that there are other videos out there that can show you how to do this, but I don't know. I, I talked to enough people uh, that I wanted to do it for you. So hopefully this will be helpful for those that have not yet ventured into those waters. Today, <clears throat> I'd like to take apart an 1860 Colt Army. And this, uh, this tutorial will apply to most all Colt uh, firearms, uh, single actions, percussions. So, let's start with uh, pulling the wedge and the barrel assembly. I leave the hammer down so the cylinder won't fall off. Uh, one time I wasn't paying attention, bring it to the half cock. Cylinder fell off, rolled off the bench, and dented the chamber. That made me real happy. Let the hammer back down and uh, start with these two screws right here up on top. This is called the back strap. And what I do is just start them. And I felt right, right there, I feel just a little bit of tension. Because sometimes the back straps have a little bit of a bow in them. And once you back those two off, you can come to the bottom here and pull this one all the way out. Roll her back over. Remove the back strap and the grips. These are one piece grips. They come with the back strap. If they were two piece, you would see a screw right here, and of course you take that out, and the grips will come off first. This uh, exposes the mainspring, or the hammer spring. Normally you can bow this down, push it out clockwise. When she clears, pull her counterclockwise, and that should break the screw loose. Turn it over. We're going to take these three screws out. They can come in any order. Then you can remove the trigger guard and the mainspring. This will expose the internal parts of the Colt. This screw right here holds trigger bolt spring in. That's what we'll take out next. Roll her over. The left side of the pistol you'll see four screws here. We'll start with the front, and then we'll take the one behind it out. Pull the trigger out, and the bolt. This next screw on the 60 Army we don't have to worry about that. That is a stock screw for a shoulder stock. Since we don't have that, we'll be going to this rear one. That's your hammer main uh, pivot screw. Pull it out. Roll her over, pull the hammer, let the hammer fall back a little bit, and then pull straight down because out comes the hand, or the paw. The paw on a Colt just threads in this little trunnion pin here, threads in a, this 
smaller hole right here. But put everything back in reverse order. Stick the hand in. You can see here that we have a hand channel. This cutout right here. So we want to thread that hand in. Push up. Line the hammer pivot hole up through the hole in the frame. Runner in. I like to wait till the pistol is uh, back together before I tighten any screws up. Now here you'll see this space right here. And that is what we're going to thread the two little legs or tines of the bolt in. Now the bolt head is going to go into the bolt window right here. So stick her in, drop her. There, she just slipped in. Trigger, same way, stick that in. Now right here, I've had this bite me a time or two. Your trigger bolt spring has two legs on it. The long one is for the trigger, the short one is for the bolt. The trigger has a little ledge right here that I could have shown you while I had it out. And that's what the long arm of the spring operates on. I have not paid attention and let that slip off and under. And not, I don't know it until I get the, you know, the, the gun back together because I wasn't thinking. I didn't check it. So what I like to do is push trigger forward. Set that arm on there. Drop the spring. Then I can hold the spring there, set the screw in, and uh, run her home. Now you don't, some people really tighten these. There's no point in tightening a, a spring screw. The spring uh, is under tension at that point, and uh, it serves as a lock washer, if you will. So just run it up till there's no more turn and that's good enough. Test it in case it did slip off because you can correct it now before you put the gun back together. Once that's done, take the trigger guard, set it on, and you've got these three screws you took out. Two of the screws will be longer than the third screw. The head of the two longer screws will be thicker or deeper, if you will, than the, than the smaller screw. So we take the two matching screws, they go to the rear. The screws will fit anywhere, but you don't want to put one of the long ones up front. And I'll show you why. Just get them started. all three of them see I almost cross thread there we go that right there then run them on up the reason you don't want to put you do not want to put the long one up front is because it can possibly come out here and, and stick out just enough to put a ring around your cylinder. So be sure you put the thin head, the short one, up front. Once that's done, bring the main spring over. I'm right handed. It can go either way. Bend it down. Get it in there. And again, no point in torquing this screw because spring tension has it. Run it up, it stops, that's it. You can try the gun at this point if you want to. 
it's better to wait until you get this on because I'll show you that as well. Just start these two. That way we have movement here. It's easier to line this up, especially if the back strap has quite a bit of spring in it. Run that up. Then take care of these. If it's a little tight, go back and forth. Kind of like torquing a head. Now the reason it might be better to get uh, the grip assembly back together is because the hammer can only come back so far with the back strap on and that creates a stop. Whereas without that, if you weren't paying attention, you could pull the hammer too far. Put it on half cock. Thread the cylinder back on. Barrel assembly. Stick the wedge in until that little nub just comes out the other side. Little curl here on the end of the spring. Tester. And you've reassembled your firearm.